my formal recruitment experience was stressful, but you know, it's all worth it in the end. You know, you go where you're meant to be. I felt like it, everyone was there to make sure, you know, we've all found our homes and just to make sure everyone enjoyed their experience overall. I'm an extrovert, so I loved all the energy that recruitment had. Everybody just seemed so excited to be there and to meet me. I thought it was really like nerve-wracking at first. Like, I I'm kind of shy at first, so it was like really intimidating to me. But when I found like Chi Omega, especially, they just made me feel at home, and like I wasn't as nervous when I was with them, and they were just so like genuine that it like calmed my nerves. So Chi Omega is just filled with the most genuine people. Like there's no stereotype, there's no one that you have to be, everyone's so accepting of who you are. Um, I can walk in the house looking like a hot mess, <laughs> and like everyone else is looking like a hot mess too. <laughs> Everybody's just awesome, so I don't know, I just, I, I, from day one I've always felt at home, and I mean, that's you know, what more could you ask for. I went abroad my fall semester and my spring semester, so I was gone for an entire year from our chapter. But the best part about Chi Omega was that all my sisters still kept in touch with me. It made me feel like I was home even though I was really far away um, because it's not our house that's Chi Omega, it's what's inside the house and that's us and our sister. Because there's no image that you have to fit here, you're, you're like accepted no matter who or what you are so um, it really gives you that freedom to like change and evolve into the person you want to be because these four years in college are like the four years where you find yourself. I'm just so excited to like get the opportunity to have new women join us and to kind of share what we are with them and that authenticity and that sisterhood and that love and that joy of having I guess. Like everyone's gonna tell you to trust the process but you like actually have to trust the process. It really just is down to the girls that you meet and you feel like you can connect with, like, I don't know, this, the girls that I met here, I felt like, <laughs> these are my people, they understand <laughs> me, they don't judge me, they love me for myself, like, I didn't have to change who I was at all, like, I didn't have to act a certain way, or, I was just myself, and they, uh, like, accepted that, oh god. <laughs> so there's like a huge variety of girls, but we all have one thing in common, and that is Chi Omega. Yeah. To live constantly above snobbery of word or deed. To place scholarship before social obligation. And character before appearances. To be in the best sense democratic rather than exclusive. And lovable rather than popular. To work earnestly. To speak kindly. To act sincerely. To choose thoughtfully that course which occasion and conscious demand. To be womanly always. To be discouraged never. In a word. To be loyal under any and all circumstances. To my fraternity and her highest teachings. And to have her welfare ever at heart that she may be a symphony of high purpose and helpfulness in which there is no discordant note. We